well, 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 Dorkon. If it isn't the announcements of the boys, of the EZA, of the LR Gohan, and the LR Incel, literally my very last video, I was making a prediction that these guys are either going to EZA in this celebration or for the anniversary. I said more likely anniversary, but they are EZAing right now. Dokon, let's go! It's time for the subscriber challenge. Now, I want you guys to either pick heads or tails. If you guess right, you win, and if you guess wrong, you lose. And if you lose, you have to subscribe because that is the challenge. So pick right now, 3, 2, 1, go. What's it gonna be? And we land on tails. So if you picked heads, you lose, and you have to subscribe because that is the challenge. One thing that I want to say right away is that when you guys look at this, what you see is the easiest of LR Gohan and LR Incel. When I look at this, the first thing that I see is the Cell Saga is less likely to be anniversary now. So what is anniversary? I don't know. It's going to be tough to say. It could be anything. Maybe it is what I saw the truth saying, that it could be Super Saiyan 2 Gohan and Bojack. Imagine the scenes! And the reason I'm saying that Cell Saga is less likely to be anniversary is because if it was anniversary, they would have saved these EZAs for that anniversary, which clearly they're about to EZA now, and so that makes it less likely that these guys will be for anniversary. I've not looked at this information at all yet, so this would be a complete live reaction. As expected, Kamehameha, the leader skill, is going up to 180% across the board, and then 130% for AGL units, specifically Super AGL, and that's actually, well, the second part is good for a battlefield, but the first part of this leader skill might be one of the single best leader skills in the game. That's an excellent start. Okay, so attack and defense plus 150%. As you guys can see right here, that's an increase from 100% to 150. I'm still hoping that they change that to greatly raise. Because if they didn't, that will be disappointing. But let's see. And then key plus 2. So a bit of self-sufficiency. I like that. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% at the start of each turn. Key plus 8 up to 80%. So what was that before? Before it was plus 10% after every turn, up to 70%, and now it's plus 20%, up to 80%. So it's a slight increase, but it's a faster increase. So that's really good. Oh wait, what? Guards, all attacks, and a higher chance to launch an additional super if HP is 50% or higher? My boys! So you say he's got guaranteed guard if you're above 58% HP, and an additional super with a high chance to be a super. Pro! He's good! He's good! And a high chance to perform a crit against a android enemy. And a high chance to perform a crit if there is an android category enemy. The last bit is 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 meh, but but these parts, the guaranteed card, the faster build-up, the 150%. Wait, and what's this? Raised defense. Okay, they've not increased that. I think they added lower attack. That's okay, that's good for SBR to be fair. But I think they should have increased that to greatly raise. But actually, no, I, I take that back because to give him that chance for the additional super so if he was greatly raising it'd be too fast but if you do get those additionals off bro he'll stack even faster this guy's good he's good what about his transformation though please say please say they changed his active skill conditions please do i'm begging you i've not seen it yet but please say that you changed his conditions okay so this is the transformation so he still changes key spheres which is the same for four turns i think that changed i think it was only one turn if i'm not mistaken Attack and defense plus 158%. What was that before? Before, oh, but before he didn't get anything. Okay, that's interesting. In terms of his defense from start of turn. Like, he, he got it per key sphere, but he didn't get it for, like, at the start of turn. So here he's got plus 20% attack and plus 7% defense per key sphere obtained. And that has changed to, let's have our gander. So he still gets that key plus one. Okay, so no, the attack stayed the same, but the defense is plus 3%. So we'll definitely take that. And then he's still getting that plus one key per key sphere obtained to rainbow. That's really good if you're only facing one enemy, which is pretty much all of red zone, if not most of red zone. I know, actually, it's most of red zone, not all. Like, it's all the difficult stages where you're facing only one enemy. Launches an additional super attack when facing multiple enemies. This part here, I think, is useless because I think when you're facing multiple enemies in red zone, it's earlier in the fight. And earlier in the fight, it's unlikely that we'll get this transformation off. Unless they've made it really easy, which I doubt they've made it that easy. And then a high chance to launch an additional super attack. That's really good. Or oh, please say he's got guaranteed guard in this form. Please say he's got guaranteed guard in this form. Because he's got that high chance to get the additional super guaranteed. And perform a critical hit when HP is 50% or more. Actually, that stayed the same. It's still, it's, it's still only if HP is 50% or more, which is still really good. 
if Super Saiyan Goku is attacking in the same turn, gain an additional attack plus 59%. This is not as bad as it used to be. Back in the day, we didn't really have a top tier Super Saiyan Goku. But guess what? Now we do. We have, the, we have both the Carnival Goku LRs, the STR one, and more importantly, the Tech one. The Tech one slot one, this Gohan slot two, that's going to be a good rotation. That's going to be a good rotation because they share most of their links. And when performing the Ultra Super, and if HP is 59% or higher, perform an additional super attack. So what you're saying is, this guy can triple super, and then get a fourth super from his hidden potential. I think this part stayed the same, but, but this guy's got potential to be good. I think though, before he transforms, though, he's got a guard, and after he transforms, there's no chance to guard. I'd rather have the guard than have the additional super, to be honest. So maybe you, you don't want to transform this guy. I guess we'll see. To be fair, he does get a lot after he transforms, so maybe it is worth it. Especially because he does greatly raise defense on his super attacks after he transforms. Like he, He's got potential to be good, but I think... The base form might actually be better. Maybe that's just me, but I like that guard. I'm going to be honest. It's only if you're over 58% HP. But imagine it's not though. Imagine it's just guaranteed guard. Imagine I'm reading this rank and it's just guaranteed guard. Bro, this guy would be the best unit in the game. He'd be the best unit in the game. Then LR in Cell, he's leading the Android slash Cell Saga category plus 180%. Once Androids get some more units, this could be good. But for right now, it's not the best. As far as the Cell Saga part goes, um, as for the Cell Saga part, that I'm afraid right now is not a top tier leader skill, but it's certainly got some potential. But the thing is though, if this Saga does get a celebration to itself, most of the super units won't work well with this cell. But if we get a lot of androids, then that would be really good for this cell. So attack and defense plus 120% at the start of turn. And what was that before? Before it was only 80%. So that's increased by 40%. Okay, that's a solid start. And then gain an additional defense up to 120%. The higher the HP, the more you get. And what was that before? It was the same thing, but it was only up to it was only up to 80% before. And now it is up to 120%. So he's got 40% extra there. And he's got 40% extra here. So so far I'm not too impressed. But let's continue. Gain the additional key plus two and attack plus 30% per enemy. 20 to 30. Yep, it did indeed. That's gone up from 20 to 30. It's okay, but again, it's not enough. And then attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack. That's pretty decent because he did not have anything like that before. So that's come out of nowhere. So that's about an extra 90% now. The way it adds up, it'll be more than that. So high chance to perform a super attack. So he's guaranteed this. Gohan only gets that if you're above 58% HP. But this guy is guaranteed this. I am sorry to say, Gohan is by far better. And then what? On the 18 key, he still doesn't raise defense. Only on the 12 key. Now, Gohan's better. Gohan's, I'm sorry, but Gohan's just, it's not even close. Like, and by the way, I predicted this in my very last video. I said that they are probably going to fumble this cell because his base kit is not as good as the Gohan's. And guess what? It does seem like they fumbled it. Okay, so let's look at the transformed state. Let's hope that they did change these conditions as well. So right away, the, the 12 key and the 18 key are decent because there is... The great raise defense for one turn and that in itself is all you need. Fully recovers HP once, that stays the same obviously. Randomly changes the attack of key sphere other than int to rainbow. Okay, key plus 6 and attack of defense plus 180%. So what was that before? Let's have a Gander. So that was 120% before. And it was only key plus 4. Getting key plus 6 certainly is a massive help. So that's gone up from 120 to 180. So that's a what 60% increase. That's good but in itself is not enough. High chance to launch the additional super. Again, that's good, but it's not enough to carry. Okay, here it is. There's that damage reduction. So you reduce damage received by 3% per key sphere. So let's say you get lucky and let's say you get, I don't know. Let's say you get 6 key spheres if you get lucky. That's 21% damage reduction on a good turn. It's okay. Especially because he is creating rainbow orbs. So that will definitely help. Um, but is that enough? It could be decent, to be fair. It could be decent, but... We're gonna need more. We're, we are gonna need more. Attack on defense plus 30% when attacking or if collecting four or more key spheres. I think this key sphere restriction is not the worst thing ever because he is creating rainbow orbs. But so long as it does not go past six, I'm happy. Okay, it says eight. There, I've seen eight. To get that last 50% attack on defense, you need eight or more key spheres. That, that part of it, even with the rainbow orb changer, that's unrealistic for that to be consistent. So overall, I'm going to be honest, I guess this extra attack, you guys can read it if you want. All I see is defense and then I judge the unit. He's got potential to be good based on how effective that damage reduction is. But I think the Gohan's guard by itself is carrying the Gohan. The Gohan's guard! 
But to be fair, as far as I can see, as far as I can make out based on this, I think, and I could be wrong, that you only have the guard if you're above 58% HP. And if that is the case, that is not the best, but it's still extremely, extremely powerful. And then on top of that, he is stacking defense. So this guy is really, really good. I think the Gohan is easily better because the Cell gets the guaranteed high chance, whereas Gohan only gets it if you're above 58% HP. So, so far it might seem like Cell's better, but then Gohan on top of that gets Guard, and that, my friends, is just superior to a 50% chance to additional super. And not to mention that Gohan also has that chance, but it's only if you're above that HP requirement. So now, my boys, we just sit back and hope that they have changed the active skill conditions for the Cell, especially because his transformation seems a lot better than his base form, but for the Gohan, his base form seems better, and by base form I mean the Super Saiyan form over here. It seems better, but I could be wrong. I definitely could be wrong. It's just that for me that a guard is just too powerful, and the fact that he only stacks defense in his uh, base form, in the, in the Super Saiyan form. But maybe it will surprise me. But, I mean, even if the base form is better, I still want them to change the active skill condition, because that is really, really bad. Make it turn 4 for this guy. And then make and for this guy make it if you're below 60% HP. And bro, we are cooking. We are cooking. With that said though, Gohan seems amazing. Cell seems like he could be decent. We'll see. Easy is coming up. Let's go, my boys. If you enjoyed the video, do subscribe and do leave a comment and do leave a like because those things do help with the algorithm. We're trying to get to 500 subs, so make sure you sub, especially if you fail the challenge, because that is the challenge. With that said, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.